on this edition of On Record. A new hybrid tactical UAS launched at the Singapore Air Show. The Swedish Armed Forces will soon get NATO-compliant tank ammo for their Leopard main battle tanks. And a sneak peek to sea-based subsea transducers tests before deployment. Hello, I'm Lauren Izzo and we are On Record. Elbit Systems published its annual financial results for 2021. The company displayed a strong year with an overall 13% increase in revenue and $13.7 billion backlog. In its annual investor conference held at the Tel Aviv Stock Exchange, the company's president and CEO, Betzal Al Mahlis, presented the company's business highlights and gave sell-side investors and analysts a closer look at the company's growing maritime portfolio. From unmanned vessels, naval electronic warfare, maritime electro-optics and more, the company sees a growing demand for its maritime arsenal, particularly with the 2021 acquisition of Spartan Corporation. A hybrid small tactical UAS was presented for the first time at the Singapore Air Show. The Skylark 3 hybrid is equipped with a hybrid propulsion system, both an electric and an internal combustion engine, tripling operation endurance up to 18 hours, with no change to size or weight. This improves mission effectiveness and cost efficiency. The innovative UAS uses its combustion engine to fly rapidly to the areas of interest and switches to its electrical engine while operating above them. The Swedish Armed Forces will be getting NATO-compliant tank ammunition for their Leopard main battle tanks. Under a $27 million contract, Elbit Systems will provide M339 rounds, 120 mm ammunition and data setting units. The Swedish ammunition contract follows the decision made by Finland in 2020 to procure this type of ammunition for their Leopard tanks. The company's collaboration with the Swedish Armed Forces is continuing to evolve. In January, Elbit Systems Sweden was awarded a contract to supply the Swedish Navy with the Albatross Combat Management Systems. Supporting the Swedish Army and Air Force, the company is engaged with delivering E-Link software-defined radio systems to Sweden, along with advanced avionic systems to the Gripen Combat Aircraft. An Asian Pacific country has also opted for the company's ammunition, recently awarding Elbit Systems with $130 million in contracts to provide it with an artillery munitions production line. The Canadian Armed Forces is undergoing a digital transformation and have selected Elbit Systems UK to provide it with their Torch X air battle management application. Part of the Airspace Coordination Center modernization project of the Department of National Defense, the Joint Air Torch X enables effective coordination of air assets into complex land and joint battle space. It also enables connectivity to the Canadian Armed Forces legacy applications and tactical data links, while also allowing future integration of new applications. On Record is giving an up-close look at the most advanced underwater technology, the compact, long-range underwater acoustic effector, just before being deployed. Back in 2020, the Canadian Elbit Systems subsidiary, Geospectrum Technologies, announced the introduction of their groundbreaking, compact, very low-frequency, long-range acoustic underwater transducers, part of the company's Seabase family. They're small in size and weight, while maintaining high power bandwidth, and are suitable for a wide range of subsea applications, including communication from shore or surface units to submarines, divers, or unmanned underwater vehicles, mine sweeping, as well as aiding submarines in transitioning through ports or narrow passages. Seabase is one of the company's latest maritime developments, answering the worldwide growing demand for advanced naval technology. The source is unique because it is lower frequency than many sources. It's higher power, it's smaller, it's less expensive, and you can pretty much choose the resonance anywhere from 15 hertz up to 300 hertz. This opens up many experiments that you couldn't do with legacy sources. If you need to deploy in the Arctic, as we have done, you need a small source. That's all for this edition of On Record. For more updates from Elbit Systems, subscribe to this YouTube channel and tap the bell so you don't miss out on our latest videos. I'm Lauren Izzo. Thank you for watching.